I just want to talk to you about two things, two moments that totally transformed my life. The first one happened when I was approximately eight years old. You see, the thing is, I was born profoundly deaf. And because I was born profoundly deaf, I had to wear equipment. Now, these days, people who are deaf have got these nice little earpieces that fit nicely into your ears. But those days, things were different. And I had two earpieces, like you get for your headphones or your Walkman, and they were attached to two large batteries that sat in my shirt pockets. And not only that, I had to wear national health glasses. Now, as a result of that, you can imagine that I was the target of the school bullies. And boy, did they target me. Every day, they would come up and pull my earplugs out and run off like they had done something clever. And no matter how I tried to stop them, blackmail them, if you like, by buying them sweets or promising to do this or that for them, it didn't stop them from bullying me at every single opportunity. And then my mother, who obviously was distressed by all this, decided that she was going to get me an operation. And she searched high and low. And eventually she came across a man called Dr. Livingston. Yeah, that really was his name, Dr. Livingston. Dr. Livingston was a brilliant surgeon. And he told my mother, it's a risky operation, but if it works, he'll have 110% hearing. If it doesn't, then he could be worse than he is now. My mother took the risk and I had the operation. And I remember the day I woke up from that operation. And the first thing I saw was my mother. She was smiling. She said, hello, can you hear me? I said, yes. And tears welled up in her eyes. And at that point, I know I didn't, but I thought I heard a little sound somewhere in the background that went something like do, 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 do. Now those of you who know your superheroes will know that that is the theme to Superman. Obviously I didn't hear that tune, but that's how I felt. I felt like Superman. And that operation opened the doors to my life really. And the first thing on my agenda was to take care of the bullies. And I did take care of the bullies, every single one of them. And then became a protector of the bullied. And then when I got to about 13, I started getting wayward because of this newfound freedom I had. But one teacher knew I had more potential than that. Than that. And he took me aside one day and he said, son, you can either fly or fall. And he then asked me to look up into the sky and identify the brightest star. And he said, always aim for that star. You will never reach it, but the effort you make trying to reach it will enable you to catch falling stars along the way. And each star you catch is an achievement. I have never forgotten that advice. And I took it and I flew. And I say the same to any young people today. Recognize your strengths. Identify your goals. Look at that star in the sky and aim for it. You will never touch it, but aim for it and catch a falling star. And you will achieve in life if your life goes anything like mine.